Hi, everybody. My name is Elena Stern, and I am the Associate Vice President for Communications and Public Affairs here at Cal State LA. Thank you so much for coming out to our university today. We are so proud to be a part of this historic event in Los Angeles coming up next summer. Um, as you probably know, Cal State LA has some history with Olympic events. Um, the housing that you see here was actually in most of, in, in majority part, constructed for the 1984 Olympics here in Los Angeles. They've been renovated since then, don't worry. So um, we are pleased to house the upcoming summer um, Special Olympics 2015 uh, athletes and coaches here in the housing um, on campus. We're looking forward to having the energy of those athletes and coaches here. Excuse me. Um, we're going to have healthy breakfasts for them every morning. So it's we're really looking forward to to having and participating uh, with a role in in these uh, momentous occasion next summer. Um, today we are here to to uh, talk about the host towns, uh, the city of Alhambra and the city of Monterey Park. The mayors are represented here, um, and we are just uh, we're really here to, to to launch this this partnership. Um, we have partnered with these cities in the past. Um, we feel very strongly about um, partnering with our surrounding communities. Our president, President William Covino, um, has a mission of engagement, service, and the public good. And so as much as we can engage and, and, and partner with our, with our surrounding communities, we, we aim to do that. We are committed to academic and athletic excellence at Cal State LA. In fact, just on the other side of campus here, we have broken ground on something called the Billie Jean King Sports Complex. Um, Billie Jean King is a proud alumni of, of Cal State LA. Part of that complex is the, the Rosie Casals and Pancho Gonzalez Tennis Center and what is just coming up to become the Sally Ride Learning Center. That complex will house youth from the surrounding communities, will, perf will, will, will um, stage uh, athletic activities and programs for them, and really bring the community onto our campus in, in furthering our partnership with, with, our, with our neighborhoods. So without further ado, I would like to now introduce a very special person, Marco Martinez, who is a Special Olympian and our Global Ambassador today. Hello everyone, how you doing? My name is Marco Martinez and the way that I became a Special Olympics athlete was through, uh, through the wonderful world of art and one day I ended up making a mosaic design uh, out of ceramic towel. Then after I took that sign to them, well, they right away told me, will you, will you be interested in becoming a Special Olympics athlete? And I told them, well, that uh, in a way that was kind of like my point of, of cause eventually I, I wasn't doing nothing, like doing nothing in life, so. I decided to make them a, a mosaic design, as you could see right there. I made, I'm making that one. It, it have, it, it's not finished yet, but that's how I became a Special Olympics athlete. And Special Olympics has been there, and I mean, it, it has been there for me. Like, it was like a miracle for me that I ended up becoming a Special Olympics athlete and through Special Olympics athlete I made a whole bunch and I mean a whole bunch of friends and after I became a Special Olympics athlete well a friend of mine whose name uh, her who's, n who's no longer with us her name is Mindy Boyle and that's when she ended up telling me uh, will you be interested in becoming a World Games Global Messenger, and that's when I had to do like a, a short version of myself of a essay, and 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 my good friend Dustin, he ended up calling me and he told me, well, we picked you, Marco, and and that's how I became a Special Olympics World uh, World Games Global Ambassador, yeah, and and I was happy to to become a, a world games global messenger 
And I think this one is gonna be like, I think my sixth host town announcement, and I'm pretty happy to represent the uh, athletes from around uh, Southern California. Yeah, and they even picked me to, to become a World Games Global Messenger because they didn't have a Hispanic guy. And I said, oh, what the <laughs> heck? I'll become a, a Hispanic World Games Global Messenger. So that's, that's how I became a, a World Games Global Ambassador. Yeah, and I jumped for joy when they told me to become a a World Games uh, 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 ambassador, yeah, to get to meet like good friends like Tiffany, good friends like Steve, and and make making new friends down at the office, yeah. And uh, I'm glad, and I mean I'm glad to become an athlete because who the the enjoyment that that I'll end up getting when I end up competing and that and tomorrow I have a competition, a bonding competition. Yeah, and I and last weekend I ended up I ended up getting this medal. Yeah. yeah. I get the joy. I I even live with the what the uh, what the strong feeling of of that athlete out because if I end up getting like a silver or a bronze, I live up to that oath and I'm not I'm not one of those uh, uh, one of those people who end up saying, oh man, I got a, a silver and a bronze. Uh, I live to I live up to that oath. Yeah, and Special Olympics has opened doors for me, and I thank God for them. And I mean, I thank God for them for opening doors for me. And Special Olympics has changed my life for the better. And when I, I even making like different mosaic designs, so far already done uh, uh, mosaic for the staff, uh, down at the uh, World Games headquarters, and they get the joy when they end up getting a mosaic de design. Yep. And maybe if y'all want to, maybe I'll make y'all one for your campus. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It's an honor to have you here with us today. All right, next I'd like to introduce um, another dignitary, Joanne Klonowski from the LA 2015 World Games. Thank you, everyone. This is a real honor to be here, to uh, have both mayors here, Marco, all the honored guests. Thank you so much. To tell you a little bit about the Special Olympics, um, there are roughly 200 million people in the world with uh, intellectual disabilities. Eunice Kennedy Schreiber decided, um, along with her, um, her family, her own sister, Rosemary, had an intellectual disability. So she decided to start inviting people over who had intellectual disabilities to play sports. And after some period of time, Special Olympics was born. There are now 4.2 million people that participate around the world in, in athletic competitions, those people with intellectual disabilities. Uh, they participate in about 70,000 different um, sporting events per year. One of the highlights of the Special Olympics is the World Games. The World Games take place, the Summer Games, every four years. They have taken place in the past in Shanghai, China, in uh, Ireland, in Athens, and now they're going to be in the good old USA here in the Los Angeles area. And the highlight of the World Games is, of course, the um, host towns. We are in the process of arranging nearly 100 cities from San Luis Obispo down to San Diego to host the athletes. This gives the athletes an opportunity to become acclimated to the area and to be introduced to the different cultures of Southern California, as they will be in Alhambra and Monterey Park. And what a glorious place for them to be staying. 
Now, you won't be touching their hearts, but I have to tell you a story of how they are going to touch your hearts. I had to pick up an international delegation back in June, and I had to uh, go to LAX airport. It was very, very early in the morning, like 5 in the morning. We were picking up a delegation from Asia, and I had to get a police escort. So I go to the LAX uh, police area, and I pick up this lovely policeman, and I use that word loosely because he was very grumpy. It was very early in the morning. Um, he was working a double shift. I was there very early. I, wasn't, I was equally as unhappy. So we go to the airport. We're waiting for the delegation to get off. And they all get off, and they're all in their uniforms. And they're so excited. They're jumping around. And they're so excited to be in Southern California, except there in the corner is a young lady who isn't participating. All of a sudden, she sees my grumpy cop. She runs over to him, gives him a hug, grabs his hand, and tells the rest of her athlete friends that he is the most important person here, and we have to follow him no matter what we do. He was so awestruck, he didn't know what to do. Well, he goes through the airport like Pied Piper, and he's got <laughs> all these athletes hanging on to him. This one wants to hold his hand, and another one is arguing to hold his hand. He helps them through the passport. He helps them with their luggage. They get to the bus. And they're all hugging him and saying they hope to see him again. They get on the bus, and he's waving to all of them, and they're waving to him. And then he turns to me, and he said, thank you so much. That's probably the best morning I have ever had. And that's how they will touch your, your lives. It, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful experience. And with that said, uh, it's my honor to um, uh, announce uh, the two cities, Monterey Park and Alhambra, as host town cities for the upcoming World Games. And if I can invite the mayors, Marco and Elena, and present this flag. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about this flag, too. Uh, you'll see, tell you a little bit about the logo. You'll see the icon in the middle with kind of the hands up of the icon. Whether an athlete comes in first or whether an athlete comes in last, they have what we call the celebratory pose. The, um, the area around it, the circle around, is the circle of inclusion and acceptance of people with uh, special needs. And the colors represent the 177 countries, yes, 177 countries that will be here from around the world. So given that it's so hot, why don't we all give it a try? Do the celebratory pose. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you so very much. All right. Well, let's bring up our mayors, Gary Yamauchi and Hans Leong. Thank you very much. Um, you know, that, that was a great story. Um, uh, I, I, uh, oh, yeah, how's that? Is that better? Thank you. Thank you, Hans. No wonder you're mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a wonderful story. And um, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing the kids and having them come out here. I know I, I will be touched myself. Uh, I always have a place in my heart for sports and ath athletics, and I have a place in my heart for those who are less fortunate. And so with the Special Olympics, we'll be able to, uh, I'll be delighted to uh, uh, enjoy the games and enjoy the children that come. And we hope that uh, all, all the kids have a wonderful time. And as uh, uh, the mayor of Alhambra, uh, I am so very proud that we're able to do this uh, for the Special Olympics. And uh, we hope that uh, in the future we can continue to do things. Uh, may, it may not be a host city, but uh, other things that the Special Olympics may need. Uh, just quickly, I want to uh, just introduce my fellow councilmen who are here. Uh, just re recently re-elected Stephen Sham, fellow councilman. Uh, Dr. Stephen Placido uh, and Luis Ayala. He's a, 
the three of our three of my fellow council persons, and of course our city manager uh, Mary Swink. <laughs> so, th thank you to the remaining uh, council people. Thank you, Mary, for uh, bringing the uh, Special Olympics here. We're very very proud, and we just uh, can't wait till 2015. So, Hans. Thank you, Gary. It's an honor to be here today uh, at this press conference here regarding the uh, Special Olympics. Uh, thank you to Elena, uh, Marco, and Joanne uh, for working so hard to uh, make this happen. Uh, as Joanne said, I can see that with the efforts of a few people and some focus uh, you know, over the years, we can see how the Special Olympics has developed into the great thing that it is today. And of all the events hosted by our respective cities throughout the years, uh, this may well be one of the most important of all. And it is so because it is an opportunity for us to come together and to make a difference in the lives of these special guests. We know that the involvement uh, in the Special Olympics will not only be invaluable to the athletes, coaches, and their families, but will enable both Monterey Park and Alhambra to gain the satisfaction that comes from helping others and to encourage lasting friendships. So today, I would like to invite all Monterey Park residents as well as everyone in our local communities to volunteer some time to this great cause. I encourage volunteers to step forward and share this unique, unique memorable experience by contacting our Monterey Park staff. And also, for those of you out there who may not be able to volunteer your time, it's also possible to make a uh, donation to the Host Town program by going online to support.la.2015.org. I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank our city manager, Paul Talbot, uh, our police chief, Jim Smith, and our fire chief, Scott Haberly, that are here. You know, wh while the uh, city council, we vote and we make decisions, at the end of the day, uh, it's all of our staff and our leaders uh, in the city that uh, have to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So we really want to, uh, I want to express my gratitude and appreciation for all their support. So with that, uh, I think uh, Mr. Yamuchi from the mayor, uh, the mayor of uh, Alhambra and I both have proclamations as well as keys to the city to present to uh, the Special Olympics uh, staff uh, and, uh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, okay, Mayor. Thank you very much, uh, Hans, very nice. Uh, just before we present the uh, certificates and the uh, keys to the city, uh, I'd like to call up w one other person, and that's uh, our city of Alhambra, a Special Olympics uh, pr uh, president of our Special Olympics committee, Mr. Jeff Maloney, say a few words. Next summer, from July 25th to August 2nd, 2015, in a city full of movie stars and all-stars, Special Olympic athletes will become the real stars of Los Angeles as the city hosts the 2015 Special Olympics World Games, becoming a stage to highlight the athletic talents, courage, determination, and joy of people with cognitive disabilities. And today, on behalf of the entire Alhambra City family, it gives me great pleasure to announce that Alhambra and Monterey Park have jointly been selected to serve as an official host town by LA 2015, which I think you've already heard today. The Games Organizing Committee is LA 2015. And to encourage our community to join us in welcoming and encouraging these special delegates as they follow their dreams, for the 7,000 athletes from 177 countries coming to Southern California, the Special Olympics is much more than just playing sports. The Special Olympics, founded nearly 50 years ago by Eunice Kennedy Shriver, has been working to eradicate long-standing prejudices against persons with cognitive disabilities and winning. This special global humanitarian movement encourages people around the world to understand that no physical or mental barrier can restrain the power of the human spirit and that people with physical and cognitive disabilities should be respected, valued, encouraged to become contributing members of society. For three days prior to the games, the city of Alhambra will serve not only as the gateway to the San Gabriel Valley, along with our neighbor Monterey Park, but also a welcome, welcoming international gateway to a select group of special guest athletes, coaches, and families. 
The success of Special Olympics depends mainly on its large core of volunteers. And as uh, Mr. Mayor of Monterey Park said today, I'd like to invite all persons interested in volunteering to contact City of Alhambra staff or Chamber staff or to apply to join the newly formed Alhambra Community Coordinating Council. The City of Alhambra and Monterey Park are proud and eager to volunteer for this exceptional event and subsequently thank the LA 2015 Organizing Committee for approving us to co-serve as host town cities. So now we get to what we wanted to do, which is the proclamations and the keys to the city. I think we I think we can do this together. We both have uh, keys of this keys to the city. Take this out here. Very nice. And uh, I believe you have a proclamation as well. Thank you, everybody. All right, in closing, I just want to reiterate that Cal State LA is proud to be a sponsor with the LA 2015 Special Olympic World Games. We are proud to host housing for these athletes, these amazing athletes and their coaches. And we are pleased that we will be part of this momentous, historic occasion. So thank you all for being here. In, in final closing words, we'd like to bring Marco back up to the podium. I would like to thank everyone around here, and I would like to thank both the mayor for for welcoming this great event. And, and in closing, the world is coming. Are you?